I guess I gotta scrunch it down a little bit, I guess. How low can you go? Um, I'm waiting for people to get on here. Uh, I can view the chat now too. I'm so proud of myself. Hey BTM, I can read the chat now. I don't know if I can read chat while I'm walking, but I can read the chat now. All right. There should be enough people in here now. Uh, it's been what, three minutes? If not, they'll come in late. All right. Well, let me turn you around so you're not looking at me, huh? All right, this is this is currently our town. Um, as you can see, I mean, we have. This almost looks like a riot situation. We got plow trucks. Uh, plow trucks down there. You have troopers everywhere. Uh, almost every street going to the um, one mile radius is, uh, is blocked off. <laughs> no, I don't get my first fish nets. Oh, here we go. Oh, we don't see many of these, huh? But this is currently our town. I mean, it is dead. Completely dead. Completely. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you guys down by the school uh, where they got a lot of things set up. So you guys, you guys get to ride with me for a little bit. And there's like nobody on the roads. Every possible way to get into this zone blocked with plow trucks. Some guys, I'm trying to keep you guys steady. Uh, I don't have my gimbal and I didn't bring it with me and I, if I leave I can't come back so um, we're working with what we got. The smell is not quite so bad out here today. Um, it could be worse. I ain't gonna walk all the way down there, but as you can see, we are inundated with um, state troopers. So they got plows blocking everything. We got Humvees from the uh, National Guard just cruising around town.
disaster froze everywhere. <laughs> Companies I never even heard of. Now, you guys are going to ride with me, but I don't know what kind of view you're going to get because I don't have the best setup. You know, I like to look while I'm driving. Let me see what I can do here. I want to take, I want to take you guys down to school. Um, where the most of evacuated people are. Oh, I don't know if I can go. You're going to fit in here. Uh, no, you're just going to see my roof. I don't want to end this and then start this back up again. All right, you guys, you guys get to view my roof for about like, five minutes. <sighs> my car stinks. Smells like that crap in here. All right, guys, let me head you over towards the school. I know it isn't very interesting. You really can't see, but my phone holder isn't set up to where I can stream out my window because I don't stream and drive very often. Freaky man, this town is dead. It's like a ghost town. See if the stream cut out or not, but that was out. Restarted. You know why I'm using my turn signal? It's not like there's no any traffic, but
it from the news. Line mainstream media. Oh, shit, we're just gonna pour it behind these guys, man. That's what we're gonna do. And we'll just walk. You guys still with me? Oh, uh, you guys are still with me. All right, give me a second, guys. Let me grab my extra pack. Guys, we found a D line mainstream media. They don't tell the whole story. This is kind of like their, their base of operations right here. Um, I seen they had decon decon uh, decontaminated units uh, put out for the guys coming back. I'm gonna walk down towards the school. See if I get in trouble. Right, guys, I'm not reading the chat right now, so I can't read the chat and walk. Um, see there, they got stuff set up to decontaminate uh, people when they come back from the area. It's kind of a little, just a little, their little base of operations here. The news is sucking this all up, man. I've never seen so many news vehicles down here. This is the elementary school. Um, I'll go around front. I, I'm not going to go in there because um, they're using it as an evacuation shelter, and I don't want to. Um, you know, impair on their, you know, 
impede on their privacy. So um, I'm not going to head in there, but this is the they're using for evacuation right now. Where's the gun? You see, I mean, there are cars everywhere. Sorry, guys, this phone is a little shaky. Like I said, I make do with what I got. I don't have my gimbal, so I had to kind of rig something up. Um, this is the whole, I mean, like, cars on down the street, all over the place. I mean, State Patrol's been driving by here like crazy. There's not really much, nothing exciting to show you because I can't get close to the area. As soon as I find a spot, I will give you a breakdown. I don't know how many of you guys have watched the um, press conference. That's where Governor DeWine landed his helicopter. In the football field over there. Every day you see this crap. Give you a little breakdown of what the press conference was about here, real quick. chat real quick. It's supposed to be nice out today, man. I don't feel very nice. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to change titles. Alright guys, I will give you a quick tilt this up a little bit. I feel like I'm very short. Probably my, my stand at least, but I don't have nothing to put the phone on to keep from shaking. Alright.
let me give you the update. Um, did a, well, you guys seen the video of the controlled release. Um, according to the press conference today, uh, they said it, it was successful. Well, obviously, I mean, we've seen, we seen the smoke and everything. Um, they were able to move four, four of them tankers. Well, they're empty now, but the ones with the vinyl chloride, and they were able to uh, move four of them away. My camera's looking down, that's right. Uh, I'm trying to think, oh, they can't, they have to move some other tankers before they get to the fifth one. Uh, the press conference wise, yeah. the EPA was there, the, uh, the EP, I forget who else was there. But the one weird thing about it is, is uh, as soon as the reporters start asking questions about, you know, when are they going to allow these people back in, you know, what. What are the base guidelines that, you know, um, what are the base guidelines of, you know, chemical saturation wise in that within that one mile radius? What does it have to get down to before they let people in? Um, seems kind of funny. Uh, they don't want to give no answer. It, it, it's supposedly a plan. They, they're coming up with and they don't have yet, I would think that, you know, there would be a, they would know what the safe level of, you know, said chemicals, you know, what, what's the safe level to be around. Uh, as soon as the reporter asked that, uh, press conference was over, we ain't taking no more questions, they walked out. Uh, it, it just seems funny. They. They don't have no, uh, you know, no plan. They can't tell you. They can't tell you what the chemicals are, what the chemicals need to be in order for them to let people back into uh, their houses. So, we still have no set date of when people are going to be allowed back into their uh, their houses. From what they said, they're going to start with the businesses when they do open and they got to check uh lower levels like basements and stuff because that gas when it you know it seeps to the lowest level it's kind of like natural gas uh it goes to, it kind of lays along the ground so they have to check the air quality in the businesses and they said the houses you know they would check before they let the people in I don't know. I'm skeptical about that. Uh, just like I'm skeptical about these, you know, these air monitors they have. I just passed one. I should have showed it to you guys. These air monitors they have around this area, and it's, they're not picking up, what their wording was, they're not picking up toxic chemicals. So I take that in the words, they're not picking up enough chemicals to be worried about, uh, like health-wise. But they, I believe they still are picking up chemicals. Why else would you, you know, we've, I've smelt that since I, that happened that night. It's, it's been a smell constantly. That's another thing I find odd. Um, I would love to see the readings, but you can go see them. Uh, they love a lie and not tell the truth. Uh, I think I, I think it's about it. Yeah, they basically was you know pay attention to the you know the uh, social media pages for the next uh, press conference. I just find it uh, very odd. I said from day one there was more to this than what they were like, and they were you know releasing and it turned out to be true so i guess that that cloud um vaughn i guess it's heading down vaughn's direction <laughs> i seen she went live and i seen she had a nice little you know funny looking cloud coming across her area so uh people want to know what 
you know what health effects they're gonna have what were they what were they exposed to even in the night and the night it happened I mean I mean worried about myself I could care less about myself but the, the older clappers or people kids or you know just anybody in general what are they you know what were they exposed to that night because um, that night was the worst I mean it was bad it was strong it, it, like burnt your nose it was so strong um, also we, we were having uh, farmers downwind of this uh, controlled uh, release I hate to call it that because it basically exploded the top off they put they put demolition charges on top of the tankers the five tankers and they just basically blew the top off of them and let all the stuff burn out uh, but it was the farmers they've been asking questions what's it you know what's it going to do for their livestock uh, you know, will harm their own livestock, you know, planting wise, you know, is, is it safe to plant? Is, is the ground contaminated downwind from this? Uh, and they're not getting no answers, which does not surprise me. Uh, I think that's about it for now. Um, like I said, there ain't very much really exciting to see besides the town basically like you know marsh martial laud and you know you leave you ain't getting back in uh that's why i've been here since uh friday and no stores open in town uh so if you need something you have to go out of town to get something well if you go out of town you can't get back in again so and they had no answers for that either uh Seem like they didn't have like, no answers for a lot of stuff, but I think I'm in this now. I will uh, keep you guys updated. Like I said, I don't know when the next press conference is. Um, I recorded the last one. I didn't live stream it because the signal was kind of wonky inside the school, so I didn't live stream it. Um, but I do have it recorded. But I'm, I, you guys can find it's all over the internet. Um, you guys can watch it, but. As of now, there is no um, tentative date set to move these people back in, and I mean, these people are asking questions. You know, like the people in the hotel room uh, that has hotels, they want to know how long they need them for, and these people they're not giving answers. Uh, so you guys, some people get very mad about that, which is understandable. Um, if I see some residents and they are willing to talk, um, even though on camera, I, they don't have to be on camera. Um, they, I can just pick their voice up. I ain't gonna force somebody to be on camera. They voice their opinion. But I would really like to know some uh, residents' uh, feelings about this. You know, how how was this handled? Do you think this was handled good? Um, do you think they're hiding information from you? You know, it, it just very interesting stuff but um, I'm gonna end this for now uh, I said if I find people to talk to I I don't know if I'll go live maybe I'll record it and then just uh, and just post it but I, I mean I really have no good news for you they they moved four cars um, they got to move more to get to the fifth car get it out of there they said they moved it they probably just moved it you know out of the area um they got teams down there now has bat teams and stuff so i think that's about it guys um we're going on half an hour so i'm gonna end this uh, i said if i run across something else interesting or you know there is no smoke so the tankers have all well, the final chemical tankers have all went out. I don't know if the other ones are, but I don't see no black smoke. So I'm taking most of them, I guess all of them burned themselves out. I mean, it's been burning for almost three days now. So, all right, guys, I will catch you guys later. Like I said, if I come across something else interesting, I'm watching all these newscasters uh, do their news thing. I shouldn't, like, sabotage them and get in the background or jump up and down or something. No. <laughs> all right, guys, I will catch you guys later. Um, Take it easy, and I will, I will be here until. <laughs>
until I'm allowed to leave and be able to come back in again, I guess. Uh, kind of rough, but you kind of live it in a wood. Drink a lot of water, I'll tell you that. Uh, oh, some other stuff I wanted to get into. Uh, maybe I'll stop a video of some of the streams. Uh, we have dead, we have dead fish. We had another dead fish uh, report in Leslie Leslie Run, which I'm not quite sure where that is from here, but it is a runoff. It is a it wanted you know these streams to do runoff into that, I guess. Um, I see somebody posted a video of dead fish uh, in Leslie Run now. I'm not sure where that other video was posted with dead with the other dead fish. Uh, it said somewhere in East Palestine. I'm not sure where. So this stuff did get into the water. Um, I mean, they're down there actually trying to. They get them uh, chemical barriers set up, and then they suck. They have tanks where they suck the you know oil-looking stuff off the top of the barrier it catches. So this stuff did get into the streams. So. I don't know about groundwater. Um, they're still saying it's safe to drink. Uh, I don't know <laughs> how much you should believe them, but all right, guys, I'm gonna get off here. I'm just rambling. Um, I will catch you guys later, and if something develops, um, I'll let you guys know about it. Thank you.